name is Vanessa. Welcome to Classy Crafting and Parcels. Today I have a very sparkly, shiny DIY that I'm not usually making things like this. However, I just recently went to Pier One and was inspired by a beautiful jewelry box that I saw there for around $80 Canadian and I thought I have to find a way to make it but not cost me as much money. And this one is definitely for my daughter. She loves to have her little jewelry and organize it and have um, those little sparkly things in her room. She does have some Swarovski crystals on her headboard, so I thought this would just tie everything in together. I hope you enjoy the tutorial, and I'd love for you to subscribe or give me a thumbs up if you like videos like these, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. For this project, I used two picture frames with a deep inlet and some Rustoleum metallic mirror finish spray paint along with some hinges, the one inch hinges and some rhinestones. I took apart the picture frames entirely, removing all pieces and only keeping the, the outer frame. However, you want to hold on to all the pieces because they will be used for this project. I removed all the hinges and hardware off the frame backs with a pair of pliers and just be careful when you're pulling them off because they do come off pretty easily. At this point, you're going to want to take your frames outside and spray paint them. A couple coats should do the trick and you'll get a nice mirrored finish. I also used an old picture frame, well, the glass panel of an old picture frame, a 4x6 one, because I wanted it to be the base of the jewelry box, but you don't need to do that. I also purchased a headband. This was the pattern that spoke to me, however, you can choose a, a different color or pattern and I unstitched the entire piece to lay out a nice rectangular shape so that the foam rollers would fit nicely onto this fabric in order to create the um, ring holders. So a pair of scissors will do the trick for this. You'll just want to unstitch it and make it, make it lay flat and even on your tabletop so that you can work with it easily. You'll take the foam rollers. If your foam rollers are too big, just be sure you cut them to size. These ones were just the right size from the Dollar Tree. I rolled them individually, cock glued them, and cut them out individually. Now, I kind of wasn't careful with the amount of fabric I was using at the very beginning. So when I got to the end, I had to glue two foam rollers and work the fabric over the two and kind of make it work. So just try to be very careful with the amount of fabric you're using. Don't overuse too much fabric. Try to be really um, nice and close to, see here I, I cut over a little bit. I should have been a little bit closer to the foam roller and that would have saved me the trouble at the end. So just pay attention to that because I learned while I was doing this. So I did this for each individual foam roller and then you'll see me working with the two at the end. Be sure to let your spray paint dry completely because this will leave fingerprints and it won't turn out very nice if you start touching it before it's completely dried. So do give it a couple days. I applied some E6000, however, you can use some hot glue to apply the glass panel back in. So this is going to be the top of the jewelry box. You wanna make sure that the glass panel is completely clean because you don't want any fingerprints. I gently pressed down the glass panel here. I filled it with rhinestones, just a nice, even layer here and then I reapplied one of the other glass panels on top so this is going to create a clear display of rhinestones. You're going to apply some hot glue all around the edging here so that the shelf well the panel doesn't come undone and just be careful when you're applying it and then I took that 4x6 
glass piece that I spray painted and I'm using it as the base of my jewelry box. You don't need to do this, you can just use the cardboard piece and insert it on the, on the base here as I'm showing you with the hot glue and then applying the little cardboard piece because this will be where you're creating the ring holder. However, I just wanted a nice finish on the bottom in case you flipped it over. So here you'll apply each individual row with some hot glue. Now you can take the two picture frames together, sit them up straight, and you're going to apply the hinges with some E6000 glue. You want to allow it to dry for about 24 hours so that when you open and close the hinges, they're not going to move. At this point, I took some ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I cut it actually uh, down the middle or in half because I didn't need the ribbon to be as thick, just needed two thin pieces here to hold the jewelry box together. So I supported the jewelry top box top with something behind it until the hot glue dried completely. And now you'll see that the jewelry box is supported by the ribbon and you can use it in however you'd like. This is a beautiful display piece as well because of all the rhinestones and just the mirror effect of the box. I hope you love this idea and I look forward to sharing more DIYs with you in the near future. Thanks so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye everyone!